how to make money off webcomics? Is there such a thing? Hey guys, Ryan Melrose and here today I'm here to tell you about ways you can actually make money off your webcomics. Alright, now first of all if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button and of course if you haven't hit that like button already hit that like button and definitely leave your comments. Alright, now let's get into this video. Now, can you make money off your webcomics? Yes, of course you can. There are actually many ways to do this and we're going to be going into them right now. Alright, so step one, you have made your webcomic, you've, you've got the idea, you've done all your finalized character designs and all that, you've started working on the pages and getting that story up. Now, how can you make money off it? Now, first thing, you want to host it somewhere. The most important thing to do is, first of all, you need the engagement, you need the fan base. Which, to be honest, I'm still working on that myself. Every, even when you've got that fan base, you can't stop working on it. There's, all, there's always potential to make that bigger. And of course, you can share your comic pages by uh, social media, um, posting art samples and things like that. And of course, you need to post your webcomic on a webcomic hosting site, such as Webtoon or um, To Pass. I use To Pass myself, and I've also got a little comic store where people can buy and download the comics as well. Which I've just given you two examples right off the right off the bat. So, but first, you want to get it. You want to get it on a webcomic hosting site so you can start building your audience from there. You want to start posting on social media and also, like I've covered this in previous videos, you also need to check out what other people are doing. You know, if you like webcomics, if you like creating webcomics, you should be reading webcomics as well and do it, providing fan service for the content you enjoy, for the webcomic content you enjoy that others create and that way you're able to, to provide fan service and build more engagement and bring more attention to your social media and bring more followers which could lead to more engagements and people clicking on your webcomic becoming subscribers and working from there and as well you might even make a few friends in the area and you guys may just help each other out um, collab with, with each other and you know able to make money that way which which brings me to my next point collaboration doing collaboration projects can be a great way to make a great way to make money whether you're whether you're um actually charging people to to do a collaboration like if someone comes to you and goes I got a really good webcomic idea but I don't have someone to do the art for it um could you do the art for me and let's say you charge him a little a little fifi drawing now there are there are artists there that charge ridiculous amounts. I recommend if you're just starting out, definitely charge small, small amount. Like like myself, I charge I charge usually thirty bucks a a co like an average length of a comic, so twenty pages. So I might charge thirty bucks to do a twenty page comic episode for him or something like that. And believe it or not, if you keep getting people like that and you charge those little bits amount, those amounts add up. I've once uh, earned three hundred dollars doing a project for someone, and sometimes um, if you do a good enough job and they think you do a really good enough job, they might be nice enough to give you a little more, a bit of a bonus. So, collaboration project is definitely one way to earn money doing web comics. Now, and okay, let's say let's say they don't pay you anything for the collaboration. You can ask them to provide links to your your web comics, what you do in the description of their whether it's their YouTube videos, whether they're posting their comics on YouTube, or whether they're posting it on their own to pass site or webtoon page or you know whatever it is, and that'll also help drive more people to your own content. So you see, you you still get something out of it by collaborating with others. And as the um, old saying goes, and every successful person knows this, no one ever succeeds alone, especially whether it's self-development or whether it's any any endeavor no one succeeds alone especially in business alright way number three 
I know I said step one and two previous times, but yeah, that's sort of false a habit. Alright, so way number three is a monetization and ad revenue programs. Like, as you know, YouTube does offer that, but I also know you've got a you gotta reach out quite a bit of subscribers and view out and view minutes or hours or something like that. But that's okay, but that's where um, way number one comes into play. Building up your audience and posting on to p posting it um, in other sources and trying to get that attention. So, you know, you need to you need to post videos and stuff to get more views and get those hits up, so to speak. And so yes, advertisement and monetization pro programs are definitely a way to go. To pass also does one, and that's actually where right now most of my income from the web comics is coming from because even though I do have an online store where people can buy and download buy downloads of the comics and printed copies too it doesn't stop the fact that most people want free content people want to read the comics for free and that's why uh, most web comic creators don't actually make a lot of money off the web comic itself they find another source to get that income and one of those sources is, is um, signing up for ad revenue programs, any opportunity to monetize your work. And that is one way to draw in an income from creating webcomics. And depending, depending on how good you are and how big your audience is, that'll, that'll either go up or down, and also depending on how much the ads themselves are worth. But it's definitely worth a go. You know, despite what anyone says, you know, even whether you're making 10, 10 cents a month for your webcomic or even $36 a month from your webcomic, it's good because it can go into your overall income if you've got a second job and that, it can re be a really big help, you know, when you're paying the bills and things like that, you know, you know, and, you know, despite what anyone else tells you, like, anyone goes, Ah, oh, well, it's just 36 bucks, you're not making much of it, you know, in two years' time, if you haven't made a million bucks from it, you should just give up, just stop, you know, and I, de I've dealt with negativity like that, I still do, I live with someone who gives me, who gives me crap for it, all the time, not naming names, anyway, anyway, so yes, monetization, our revenue, is definitely a way to go there, alright, on to way four, Another thing you can do, of course, and I mentioned this before, is get an online store where you can sell your comics, you know, make printed copies of the books and, and download special offers, that sort of thing, and whether or not you, you get any really good sales of that or not, that's really trial and error, you know, that, that's all the good how good you are at social media marketing and things like that. Or, how good you are at applying step one, basically, and how good your fan base is. Now, like I said, most people do prefer free content, myself included, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get the occasional, you're not going to get the occasional sale now and then. That can make a, you know, even three to four, four sales can make a shh, a um, bucket load of difference. Sorry, I was trying to keep my language under control in case there are any kids watching, and and yeah, so. So yeah, getting an online store to sell your work as well is definitely not a waste of time. It's definitely worth it. Also, any any sources of income you can draw from your comics, do it. Just do it. Alright, now lastly, I want to talk about... Okay, so... People people prefer free content, so... How come... So how come people aren't buying? The sales. Let's say you run into that problem when you're not making any sales at all. Like, some sometimes, like when it comes to an online store, you know, I might make a couple of sales a year. That's that's about it. If I'm really lucky, sometimes I'll go two years without selling it a thing on the on the marketplace. And what's and why is that? Well, in terms of comics, you need to assess as whether or not your comics are actually offering any value. Sure, a printed copy. There are books you're contributing to society, but when people are looking for free content and can just read web comics for free, they're always gonna pass. They're always gonna pass your your stuff by if you're not giving them any any free content for them to sink their teeth into. So the question is, how do you provide value to what you're doing? Okay, for starters, you could do what I'm doing. Um, investing time on a YouTube channel, giving out 
advice I'm um, talking about web comics and creating web comics and and that and posting freebies of um, comics on YouTube that's one way to do it and but the other way another way to provide value of what you're doing because if you do have any actual fans out there perhaps you should consider getting some other merchandise made and I've only just started doing this myself in fact only two days ago I've started designing some shirts based on my webcomic characters yeah just like that oh don't worry I'm not tempting you to click the link in the description to actually buy my t-shirt wink wink <laughs> okay but seriously other types of merchandise can be really helpful you know you know people always buying clothing and t-shirts and things and that gives you an ex gives you an opportunity to sell sell some designs and when people wear your shirts that sort of gives you an opening to free advertising away someone goes oh, hey where'd you get that shirt hey I think I've seen that webcomic before Wait, where'd you get that shirt I didn't know this guy sold shirts the next thing you know you're drumming up more sales like that that's just an example I don't I'm not sure it's quite that simple but it is another opportunity to again bring more income for the content you create you know I've got I've only got like a few shirts up there but they're not just shirts either you can get those designs as as mugs as well beach towels um, iPhone cases now a uh, bit of a bit of a free shout out to Teespring here because I use Teespring which I um I actually stumbled upon that watching Moscow X's Dragon Ball R and R videos, and that's um that's how I found out about Teespring, and I started looking into it. My hmm, I wonder if they how much they char charge to make shirts and things like that here. Do they? Is it uh, you know, would it be good for someone like me who's on a low, a really really low budget, can't really afford to do do much stuff like this? And as it turns out, yes, it's actually free to get these um, merchandises make, and when you buy samples samples to um, promote on your channel, which I'll be doing that sometime in the near future you get you get nearly 50 percent off the off the purchase by my calculation that is and you, you can create the merchandise for free and you can start selling immediately and it's it's a good feeling and I recommend if you guys are serious about doing web comics definitely definitely give those a go once you've um, once you're done establishing yourself and knowing where your story is going and which brings me to another point when you're going to do web comics you need to think long term you need to be in it for the long haul if you just do 20 pages and think it's going to go viral and blah, and it's going to take off millions and millions and then you don't have to do this again well you've got the incorrect mindset you got to you got to do it you got to think long term and you got to make sure you're doing a web comic something of something you really enjoy you you gotta really enjoy what you're doing. You know, if I didn't enjoy what I'm doing and have fun, then yes, as um, the person I would suggest, uh, I'd stop. I'd stop. But the point is, I enjoy doing it. You know, even if I don't make anything from it, I'm enjoying it. I will still do it. I will always do it. And if I can make my hobby into a career, you know, I will go for it. I will keep trying. I'm enjoy And in fact, I'm enjoying the challenge. I have fun doing the challenge. You know, even when I stuff up, you know, even when I, which brings me to yet another point, <laughs> I'm doing all these little side points now, is, um, don't get frustrated with yourself if this doesn't take off right away, because it's not. You've got to build on it. You've got to appreciate all the little victories. Every time you get that like, that, that one like, that one, that first comment and all that, you've got to enjoy the small victories, and if you mess up and fail, you just got to have the courage to keep trying instead of figure oh no I failed <laughs> what could I do I can't do this <laughs> I'm just gonna stop instead of thinking failed and getting discouraged and ultimately ending up quitting instead of thinking oh oh I failed I can't do this so it's not worth doing like let me tell you what I think when when I hit a roadblock and I fail I don't look at it as like oh I failed I think of it as I've just learned another way. I've just learned an another way on how not to do this, on how not to market this, on how not to draw this, or how not to create this. You know, whatever. Failure is a learn. 
Failure is your greatest teacher. Learn from it. Don't get discouraged by it. Just learn from it. Have a bit of a laugh. You know, get back on that. Actually, I won't, I won't finish that sentence. I'm an animal rights activist, so I won't use an animal analogy. You know, get back on that bicycle and keep going. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope I... I hope I've shared a bit of enlightenment. And this isn't just applied for webcomics too, you know, any business endeavor. It's really the same thing. You've got, you've got to build on it. It's, it's not going to happen overnight. You've got to really work at it. You've got to invest years. You've got to invest time, time in yourself. You've got to invest time in what you're doing. You, got, you need to keep improving yourself and improving what you're doing. And, you know, it all takes time. I can't stress that one enough. And to be honest, I'll tell you this, if you guys have watched this video all the way to the end, well done, you're you're a trooper. Uh, <laughs> now, I try to make this a bit more entertaining, you know, really getting into my personality a bit. So, you know, I'm, tr I'm trying to be a bit more open with it, you know. Even doing this video right now, I'm... I'm improving myself because it's actually hard for me to even get in front of a camera and talk to people. I'm bad at public speaking and things like that. I, I usually get very, very anxious, so it's why I force myself to get in front of a camera and do this and do a video like this. So I'm talking and engaging with people and it's improving myself and it's making me more confident. I'm getting more confident by the day. And confidence is key here. The more confident you get, the more the more opportunities you're going to spot and the more opportunities you're not going to be afraid to take advantage of or try and you know and it's all it's all trial and error but it's just having that will to keep going so again i hope you guys enjoyed the video um, again hit that like button if you had not already if you're new to the channel subscribe comment please share this video with your friends family via your social medias you'll be really you really will be helping me out a lot and of course, if you're interested in one of the t-shirts and other merchandise I've mentioned, definitely check the links in the description below. All sorts of awesome content down there. Alright guys, I've got to get going, and I will see you guys next time.